This is Frederick Martin. Frederick Martin was an Inglewood resident, son and father, who was killed by unknown gunmen while cleaning his garage. Martin's young son was in the garage with him at the time, and witnesses say Martin shielded the boy from gunfire, resulting in minimal injury to the child, but death to Martin. In Inglewood Today, Inglewood's official newspaper, which is published by James Butt's personal political consultant Willie Brown, the paper documents that after Martin's murder, James Butts called a press conference. This educational flyer, which uses a copy of that Inglewood Today front page, documents not only the tragic death of Frederick Martin, but other almost unbelievable events, evidencing that Mayor James Butts exploited Martin's death for his own political benefit. As you'll see, after Martin's death, James Butts called a press conference. And that press conference wasn't led by the chief of police or detectives. It was led by James Butts. And Butts made sure that he was the center of attention. Hi, I'm glad that so many of you turned out today. We're here to discuss um, a brutal act that occurred on April 3rd at about 7 p.m. here in the city of Inglewood, and that was the senseless murder of Fred Martin. And first and foremost, Fred Martin was a loving father, college graduate, employee of Kaiser, a homeowner, and he died a hero, protecting his son from individuals that walked up and fired into him in his garage as he was doing the things a homeowner would do, cleaning up an oil stain with materials he'd just come home from with Home Depot. In fact, James Butts said that he was friends with Frederick Martin's mother. I do. I, I, I know um, Eileen, Fred's mother, very well. We've worked out for quite some time at the gym together. She's a neighbor of mine. Um, she's good friends with my wife. James Butts was the mayor of Inglewood. James Butts ran for mayor stressing public safety in Inglewood. Frederick Martin lived in and was killed in Inglewood. But said that he thought that Martin was a hero. And Butts said that he and his wife were friends with Frederick Martin's mother. So James Butts decided to act like the big, tough, ex-cop mayor who was going to guarantee that Martin's killers would be caught. And so, according to Ingwood's official paper, James Butts guaranteed the public, the media, and Frederick Martin's grieving friends and family that Martin's killers would be caught and would be prosecuted. And we want this press conference to put everyone on notice that this act will not go unchallenged, that the persons responsible for this cowardly act of murder should come forward and turn yourselves in, because we will find you and we will prosecute you. Because we will find you and we will prosecute because we will you. will find you and we will prosecute you. So how did James Butts intend on finding and prosecuting Martin's killers? During the press conference, neither James Butts nor any of the IPD representatives he introduced gave any indication of what they were doing to find the killers. However, James Butts introduced some friends and family of Martin's, including Michael Pratt, who offered a $10,000 reward. Butts promoted the reward and said that he hoped that there would be a, quote, series of reward offerings for information giving everyone the impression that James Butts thought that rewards would help find the killers. Next I'm going to bring up uh, Michael Pratt's, Mishari's father. He's the uh, individual that's put up the first of what we will hope will be a series of reward offerings, a series of a series reward of offerings, reward offerings, a series of... I spoke with my wife and we decided to offer $10,000 for any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the individuals who perpetrated this senseless crime. So, Mr. Pratt was the only person at the press conference who actually offered to do anything to help find the killers. So, someone from the media asked Butts if the city was going to actually do anything. And what Butts tells her is very important. We have a process. We um, collaborate with the police department, and if the investigators feel that this is the type of case that where a monetary reward would assist in bringing people forward, then they'll forward a staff report to the 
city manager and he'll bring it before the city council and we would authorize a reward at that time. So at that press conference of April 2012, James Butts did the following. Butts made sure that he was the most noticeable person at the press conference. Butts told everyone that Frederick Martin was a hero. Butts told everyone that he and his wife were family friends of that hero. The only thing Butts pointed to as something he hoped would happen to help catch the killers was for there to be a series of reward offerings. Butts said that the only way that the city council would offer a reward was if IPD told them that a reward would help find the killers. And later James Butts actually voted for the city of Inglewood offering a reward of $25,000. And James Butts assured, promised, or guaranteed the public, the media, and the grieving friends and family of Frederick Martin that Martin's killers would be caught and prosecuted. However, almost exactly one year after Martin's murder, after the press conference was forgotten and all the television cameras were gone, and after there was no more publicity for Butts to squeeze out of the story about a heroic father saving his son, and after everyone had forgotten about Butts being a family friend of Martin and Butts supporting, offering many rewards and his guarantees of catching and prosecuting the killers, James Butts completely changed his positions on both the effectiveness of rewards and the killers being caught. In fact, when the fact that Frederick Martin's killers were still on the loose was raised at an April 2013 city council meeting, one councilwoman, an adversary of Butts, recommended that higher rewards be offered. Disturbingly, Butts chastised the councilwoman, saying that she should have done her homework and she would have found out the rewards don't work. In fact, Butts told the public that in 37 years he had never seen a reward help find a killer. Butts also indicated that by the time the press conference was called, it was already highly unlikely that Martin's killers would have ever been caught. Hard to believe that James Butts would be so sure about some things one day, things that were so important to so many people, but be so sure that those things were completely wrong just one short year later? Listen for yourself and see how badly Butts flip-flops. So in April of 2012, Butts got up in front of all the TV cameras and acted like the tough mayor who was going to bring in the killers of his friend's son and he helped publicize one reward and said he hoped that there would be many more rewards and later he voted for the city to offer reward but a year later listen to what butts asked the police chief have, there, are, have studies been done as to the efficacy of um, rewards because i have no objection to making you know hundred thousand i think we have to make some type of ordinance change but that's no that's nothing but the, the, the issue is effectiveness what in your experience leads to the solving of homicides, m murders. Now, the police chief talked about various factors that help solve murders. But remember back when Butts said at the press conference that the city council would only offer a reward if IPD told them that offering a reward would help? Listen to what the police chief said about the effectiveness of rewards. Um, and truthfully, uh, historically, not many re rewards have been paid out nationally uh, because people just generally don't come forward with the information. Okay, so the chief says that not many rewards are paid out nationally, and that's bad enough. But listen to what Butts asked the chief and what the chief says about rewards in Inglewood, where Butts was a cop for more than a decade, actually running the police department at one point. And the reason I ask you, you know of any time in the history of this city that someone claimed a reward that led to the arrest and conviction of anyone involved in a crime of violence? No, I haven't. No. Okay, and, and I know, I've been in public safety for 37 years, I don't know of any case that was solved uh, due to reward. What? But if IPD's chief doesn't believe that rewards work, then why did IPD ask the city to offer a reward in the Martin case? And if Butts doesn't believe that rewards work, why did he call a press conference to announce a reward? And why did he say that he hoped that many rewards would be offered? And why did he later vote to offer a reward? And why were rewards the only ID he had to help catch Martin's killers? Because James Butts' ego thinks of James Butts first. And if his offering rewards that he really didn't think would help find the killers would get him on TV and allow him to be in the front of a national story about a courageous father saving his son, then James Butts would offer rewards, 
whether he thought they worked or not. And he did that at the emotional expense of Frederick Martin's grieving friends and family. And if by then anyone still had any doubt whatsoever that James Butts believed that no reward would have ever helped catch Frederick Martin's killers, he then made it crystal clear. But the reality is, is it's not rewards to solve crimes, it's actually the first 48 hours of investigation that are critical to the solution of a homicide. So according to Butts, at the time of the press conference, which was five days or 120 hours after the murder, it was already unlikely that the murderers would ever be caught. But even 48 hours were too many for James Butts to believe that the killers would be caught. In that same meeting, Butts actually narrowed down the crucial time for solving murders to only 24 hours. Here's the reality. The reality is that when crimes are committed, by strangers, those are the hardest murders to solve. Usually when you start to deconstruct um, a murder, you look at the last day of someone's life and you look at the people that they know and that's where you get. Um, and then the longer you go without a solution of a crime, the less likely it is it'll be solved, the less likely it is it'll be solved. The less likely it is it'll be solved. The less likely it is it'll be solved. So at the April 8th, 2012 Frederick Martin press conference, when James Butts told everyone that he hoped that many rewards would be offered, giving everyone the idea that he thought rewards would help, James Butts actually believed that rewards would not help find Frederick Martin's killers. And when James Butts guaranteed the public, the press, and the grieving family and friends of Frederick Martin that Martin's killers would be caught and would be prosecuted, he actually believed that it was very unlikely that either of those things would happen. And at the April 2013 council meeting, Butts actually attacked those that thought rewards might help. If you really care about murder victims, then you do your research to find out what is effective in the way of reward. You don't hit the police chief on the, on the dais and say, I want to report in 30 days. That's grandstanding. You, get, you, get, you do some homework, you Google, you talk to the chief, and then you bring up something that's worthwhile, worthwhile, worthwhile. It's very hard to solve stranger murders. And so anytime someone picks one and, and they start talking about rewards. And like you did at the press conference. Police, that's really trivializing and demeaning real human tragedies where people's lives are shattered for generations. And I just wish that we would not do that here. Man of City. You freaking hypocrite. During the press conference, Martin's sister asked that Martin's murder be kept in the public eye so that it could be solved. I, I appreciate you all coming out here and making sure that this stays in the public eye because without that, we, we wouldn't be able to try to get justice to be served. It sounds like a simple request, but even though Butts has allowed time in every council meeting to talk about whatever he wants, in the two years since Fred Martin was killed, I have never heard Butts remind the public that IPD needs more info to solve the murder of Martin or anyone else who's been killed in Inglewood. Because that might make Butts and his police department look like they're not doing their jobs. That's what kind of family friend James Butts is. One of James Butts' odd tendencies is when he publicly attributes his own obvious faults to others. Like here, when he appears to be chastising himself for callously exploiting the death of Frederick Martin for his own political benefit. You know, it's um, very easy to um, make um, political, emotional brownie points on the backs of people's loved ones, but it's, it's reprehensible, reprehensible 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 yes james butts what you did was reprehensible <laughs>